that's got to be at least 15 inches. So it is 7.20 p.m. on Tuesday night. The town right next to this town got 35 inches so far. That looks like at least a couple feet. It's hard to really tell because it's all drifting. So this is my setup where I'm sleeping in my client's apartment. I'm trying out my new Thermarest New Air X Therm. It was very comfortable last night. It's kind of narrow. But I put it inside a sleeping bag. So it would stay in place. But then I really, it takes up so much room in the sleeping bag that I can't zip up the sleeping bag. It's kind of a small one. So I'm using a blanket to cover up instead. But it's actually pretty comfortable. I couldn't even feel the floor through it. And very warm. This is the warmest one they have. It's like an R rating of 5.7. So that last night was the first time I've ever used it. So it's kind of neat to try it out. So I know everyone likes to complain about the snow and everything, but I don't know, a few years ago, I just made up my mind that I was going to take the seasons for what they had to offer and just enjoy myself and enjoy nature, no matter what it was. And just if you dress for it, it's not that bad. One thing that's kind of cool about when a big snowstorm like this is, um, you know, everyone is always so busy running around, busy, busy, just doing things all the time. That a snowstorm like this, where they close down the roads and everything, you know, it just makes everybody stop and everybody kind of comes together and they're talking about it. And here, the facility that I'm working at, lots of people sleep over. Uh, they actually pay their employees to sleep here. So if the next shift can't come in, um, there's somebody here. So some of these people have been working all day, you know, and then we'll sleep here and then work again tomorrow, you know, like the kitchen workers and stuff and the aides. So, I mean, it can be kind of fun if you want to look at it that way. You know, it kind of brings people together. I mean, yeah, it is a lot of work for a lot of people. That can't be helped. But it makes people just stop and just sit and be still for a few days or a couple days. You know, and I just see that as a good thing. Now my car is buried out there. I'm going to spend the second night here at work and... I work 7 to 7 tomorrow and I work 7 o'clock the next day too here so I may just sleep here tomorrow night too we'll just have to see so if you're stuck inside right now use this time to just hang out relax play games hang out with your kids and your family and just don't worry about it it'll melt eventually here it is blizzard of 2015 It's just cold, white, fluffy stuff. It's not evil. I think that's Sparky right there. Wow, look at those cars. They're gonna cloud in. There's Sparky. That's not too bad, actually. Good thing I parked over here. Not too much snow back there. All the snow drifts went that way. Should be pretty easy to clean off. Yeah, just the front, basically. This was predicted to be a bad storm, especially here on the South Shore. That prediction's right on the money. Several neighborhoods we've seen this morning are a mess. <laughs> Situated in other flood prone areas on the south shore were hit the hardest yesterday and it was during the morning and afternoon high tides. The building commissioner in Situate says he hasn't seen damage like this in nearly 25 years. According to the town, Surfside, Oceanside, Turner, Rebecca Road, Glades. Snow and of course we had all the problems with the winds and along the coastline. The imprint of the door 
More than 34 inches of snow in Worcester, and Simmons Victoria Warren is there. Vicki, four and a half inches there. The most snow, though, three feet, was recorded in Hudson, Auburn, and Ludenburg, and it was the sixth largest snow total for Boston, with 24. Now it's all nice and sunny and bright.